Here you guys. This video that had Butch Hartman in it. This is going to connect to what I... He's the guy from Nickelodeon, Bethel, and Oaxis. Um, this is going to connect to what I'm talking about today. Loosely. So, most of you guys that watch the channel, I think, are probably pretty aware that I'm pointing out all the Freemason um, symbols that are inside our modern churches. Well, this is what happens when an occultist tells on Bethel. So, this thing that says a sneak peek, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stretch this video out by adding little pieces, but I want you guys to go back and look at this. So, in the TV and movie industry, they do something that's called hiding Easter eggs. This means that they are hiding things in plain sight that connect between, say, one movie and another movie, or something that's happened recently inside history. They'll add that inside the scene and not tell somebody that it's there because they want you to go and look for it. So Easter eggs are common if you go and look it up on YouTube you'll be able to figure out what I'm talking about. So, one of the locals in Reading pointed out to me that he and some of his friends understood that inside one of the TV shows that Dan Schneider made for Nickelodeon, that the Reading City Jail, the Shasta County Jail, was being used as the evil hangout, hideout, for Bill Evil and his Science Corporation, Evil Science Corporation. And he was wondering if I knew how to figure out, by watching the videos, how to interpret what the videos were. Because he and his friends, they, already, they know that it's Bill Johnson. They know that Bill Johnson is Bill Evil, but they don't understand the video how to break it down. So I'm going to do a loose breakdown right now. I think uh, when I made the slides um, that are on my laptop that I can't make videos right now, I don't know why. Um, those slides, there's probably 60 slides. So there's like 60 Easter eggs. I'm not going to get that deep into it with this. But let's start off with this. So Dan Schneider used to be, um, oh, where's my pause button? Okay, so, inside Dan's TV show, Henry Danger, they are telling us about Bethel. There's the gold fringe up at the top. This demon that's right here has red eyes because of Chris Valentin's stories about his red-eyed demons. The unicorn, stack of unicorns on that shelf to the left is um, unicorn MK Ultra programming. It's also a sex programming system that they use for MK Ultra. Oh, I need to pause that. Um, when you look at this, they have lava lamps around the unicorns because those are phallic symbols. That's ejaculation coming out of the penis and they're around all of the unicorns on each of the levels of the tower. This is the gold dust that's coming out of Bethel's um, vents. That's their glory cloud. Um, the orange furniture in the background is because inside a Freemason lodge, the Bible is considered furniture. So inside Bethel's church, the furniture would be orange, being the number 33. That's the reason that they've got that. This being a boy in drag, that has to do with the treasure hunts and Chris intentionally making the people that are on, or not treasure hunt, the scavenger hunt for BSSM. The boys have to dress as women 
and walk as though they're on the catwalk. So this is got to do with that. Um, what else is in that slide? Okay. So the Halloween stuff is because they're still practicing pagan stuff. The Knights Templar that's right there is because Bethel is comprised of Knights Templars and hippies and pagans and all of that stuff. That's the, the characters show who's inside the cult. On the inside, this, is, this would be the, the esoteric side. Dan Schneider is telling us that if we play connect the dots, that we will be able to figure out what's going on inside this video. Chris Valentin tells the story about um, being chased by a man in a truck when he was driving a van full of children for their 8th grade trip, um, and that the high-speed chase had lasted between 45 minutes and an hour with eight children inside the vehicle and his wife and being one of six boys there are no 10 or 12 passenger vans that would have had multiple roll down windows and Chris's story says that the boys had to jump on another boy because he was trying to get out of the window while well, Chris was in front of one window that rolled down the, and Kathy was next to the window of the other one. And there aren't any more roll down windows in a 10 or 12 passenger bus. So Chris's stories fall apart all the time. The, the guy is an actual schizophrenic and he imagines stuff. It, he says that um, those that demon at that time, um, he recognized the red eyes because the demons that used to come and visit him also had red eyes and that is on Sid Roth it's supernatural okay so oh rainbow programming has to do with uh, Freemasonry and it is also part of MK Ultra this is the Reading Jail sorry it's not good in this Thing. But, spiritual Kabbalah, these guys are alchemists. This means that they are practicing the Kabbalah. Um, the St. Germain video just explained all that stuff. At the top of the building, there's a water spirit symbol. And that actually does connect to the group. I don't remember how it connects to the group. This is on Placer in Reading. So Bethel all the time and the NAR are talking about portals, 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 portals. Well, that's what this is. This is inside the show. That's the portal. They actually used the Eye of God constellations that they, from NASA to be able to make this. It looks like the same eye like on Lord of the Rings. But that eye is between these two pillars with globes on top. One on that side and one on this side. And those are the two pillars from Freemasonry that have to do with the Kabbalah. So this would be the eye if you go and look at a Freemason tracing board. That portal is opened up because these guys are practicing the religion that's between the two pillars. So this is Bill Evil. Oh, I'll get back to that. So, science is alchemy. If it's not the... Because there's science that the Bible calls science so-called. So, when it is the science of the soul and the science of the alchemical stuff. The, the stuff that's not scriptural. That's what these guys are doing. 
they're practicing the Kabbalah inside Bethel. So that's why this is showing this. This is also, between those two pillars, is also where the Kundalini spirit comes from. The serpent going up the um, tree of life for the New Agers. That's the Kundalini. So when you see those two pillars, that's the, the snake has to go right side of your body, left side of your body, right brain, left brain, connecting all the masculine and feminine. It, it's completely satanic. It's really, really bad. So, Bethel's Alabaster Prayer House is considered a demon portal. That's its design is an octagon on the inside. It is 88 degree magic. It is connected to astrology. It is designed to be able to be a timekeeping device and it is lined up with the solstices. So there is a, uh, the winter solstice and the summer solstice. There are lines inside that building that will have direct um, shadows coming off of the globe inside the middle of the alabaster prayer house. So it is a, a Lucifer. It, it is Venus worship temple. It's connected to the Templars and the Freemasons and there's videos about it on the channel. Let's keep going. So once the kids go through the portal, on this side of the portal, inside the Kabbalah, everything is rainbows and candy and that kind of stuff. Everything is good according to the kids once they get inside because they're all brainwashed. They're, they're specifically being targeted and being controlled by their emotions and by the chemical drip inside their brain that they need the oxytocin. So they're just being manipulated into giving these people thousands and millions of dollars. So, uh, I need to roll that back. I didn't do it again. I can't see this thing. Okay, that one. So, right there is a Kate Spade bag. It is very iconic inside the fashion industry. It is very visible. If anybody knows their purses at all, that purse is considered the classic bag. This show was either recorded just prior or just really close to when Kate Spade had hung herself. And this was an homage to Kate Spade inside the show. They didn't say it, but that's why that was there. So, in the video... Each of these scientists that are behind him in the white um, outfits, the jackets, each of those scientists, remember they're alchemists, they're practicing Kabbalah, each of those scientists are from another country. They don't have any of them that are from the same country. There's a black girl, a white girl, an Asian guy, a black guy, blah, blah, blah. They don't have duplicates because over at Bethel, they are the whole world. They're collecting people from everywhere. So... That's why inside the video, it's got that. That's Alistair Crowley's sex magic. Okay. If you go down here to the playlist, there's one that says Henry Danger. It has Chris Palatin telling his stories. It explains that thing shows Easter eggs. Um, 
Henry Dangerous Knights in Training. That has to do with it. I'm not sure how Ben Lim and Benny Hinn got in there. Um, the schizophrenic thing has to do with it. The biblical, those are portal videos from Patricia King. Um, oh, there's a sneaky squid inside the video. If you look inside, well, I'll go show it to you, but this has to do with... Hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Does the Bible teach that we have authority to buy... The sneaky squid spirit. Watch this. Okay, so let me add a little bit more detail before I jump back into videos. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so before I get back into the video stuff, there are four convicted pedophiles that were listed working on this TV show. Dan Schneider was accused of being a pedophile by a lot of people, including one of them specifically that I'll bring up, that he's the ex-boyfriend of Ariana Grande. And Ariana claimed that Dan Schneider cauterized a Star of David, branded a Star of David, into the head of a baby, and that that had happened multiple times. So I know which side of the cult this is because they tried to rush me into the group when they tried to get me to manage Jason Cropper from Weezer and the head of Antiques for the West Coast for Patty Hearst's, um, Hearst Corporation. They wanted me to do musical management for those two guys, and it would have brought me inside this group because Seth Green tried to come in my antique shop. That's the same group of guys that these guys are all connected to. So let me hit play and let's chit chat a bit. So it seems that we accidentally opened a portal to an. Okay. So if you look over Bill's shoulder, you can see that there's a glass aquarium inside of that. There is a squid. Um, the machinery, I even went and took the name tags off of each of the pieces. It looks like it's just recycled stuff that the cast was using to show technology at Bethel. The ladder on this side says, don't go up the ladder, it's dangerous. Um, once you, this is the, the esoteric side, that would be the stuff that the people see. Once you go in the, um, the esoteric the yeah esoteric side of the portal for this show then the ladder yellow ladder on the right hand side ends up saying that you can go upstairs and it's something like gummy bears and jelly beans or something like that once you go up the ladder so let me hit play other dimension and it also seems that there was a monster from that dimension that crossed over to our dimension and is currently abducting children that's one of the parts that's really concerning to me because it's saying that they're abducting children. And a whole lot of the stuff that is said inside this video is correct as far as what they are doing. So when it says that they are abducting children, I believe it because I've got other videos that prove that Kim Johnson... Bill Johnson's sister-in-law is running at least two different organizations that are using FBI pedophile logos. And it's Brian Johnson has a religious organization inside his house called Goat Lord Farms. That means that he's Baphomet worshiping Templar. Everything connected to these guys is Freemasonry and Templar. That's what's going on here. These guys are acting out something in public to be able to do order out of chaos. They need to make Redding and the um, the Christianity look bad. So they're going to end up getting busted for what they're doing and they're going to be found out that they are worshipping the devil. The shoes are made from a space-age polymer. That's pretty much it. That's one of the only parts I haven't gotten that I haven't been able to decode is the shoes in the space-age polymer. And and 
I'm not sure that I've gotten the gloves when he gets to that part. Everything looks normal. On the other side, it's all rainbows and candy canes and that kind of stuff. What is the sound? We assume it's the sound of the terrified children being tortured by the monster. How many of you actually gone through the portal to see what's going on in the other dimension? No! No, 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 no. That is way too scary. Check this out. All these kids are having fun when they're in the delusion inside the Kabbalah side of this um, portal. <laughs> can actually be broken down the rainbow programming I don't know why this why it's a donut for the portal uh, Knights Templar guy there's an army guy in here somewhere that has to do with Cameron I'll give you guys a breakdown of who Cameron is in a later video he has to do with the oh actually in part of this there's a Sherry Papini is in here. She's the one that faked herself being kidnapped. And uh, Cameron was brought in by Bethel to be able to teach people how not to get kidnapped. And I was at Bethel for that service. And it had to have been somewhere between like, I don't know, maybe a year beforehand. So I'm guessing Cameron wasn't getting enough people wanting to sign up for his uh, don't get kidnapped while you're out on missions trips. Um, stuff so they faked a kidnapping and wait I don't even have to that guy right there oh we want one specific video we want that one right there hold on watch this oh come on connected all the dots remember that connect the dots game inside that video Dan Schneider was telling on these guys telling us that they were all Freemasons and that they were kidnapping children and Cameron's about to say people even think that we made up the story about the kidnapping of Sherry Papini who is now in prison for making up the story that she was never really kidnapped but I don't believe the current story that she's telling either. So Sherry wouldn't be at all if it wasn't for Lisa. And all of you as well. And uh, we were called unconventional. We were, we were called a nuisance. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, absolutely. And you know, one of the things that was, was asked is, could we have done this as a hoax? Sure. But I didn't. Uh, it'd be kind of silly. But, um, could this 
have been a hoax? Sure. But we didn't. Did you see that? We were getting a lot of criticism. They said, oh, you know, absolutely. And, you know, one of the things that was, was asked is, could we have done this as a hoax? Sure. But one of the things that was asked is, can we have done this as a hoax? Sure. But we didn't. Some consultant. Tell us, first of all, how you got involved. Let's bring in Cameron Gamble, a self-described kidnap and ransom consultant. Tell us, first of all, how you got involved in this case. Yeah, I was actually, um, I was out of town most of the time while Shira was uh, in, in captivity, but I was brought in by uh, an individual who knew me in the community for speaking uh, on specifically human trafficking a few years prior to this. She had called and asked, uh, she was a mutual friend of the family, and asked if I could come in and just consult with the family and just kind of give... So, I was at Bethel when he was telling us the stuff that he was doing, and one of the things that he did was that he stalked three different women and took their personal information, including one of them was married and taking her kid to soccer practices, when the kid was going to soccer practices, that kind of stuff. Um, he got that information while in the checkout line at a grocery store. Um, he, what, the thing that concerned me was when he uh, admitted that he had broken into, he had hacked into a federal judge's secured email by going through his wife's account because her email would not have been secured and so there's ways to be able to worm your way through and so that's really concerning that's one of the red flags that flew up for me when i was at bethel and he was telling his stories the first time so hold on oh come on pause stop moving This is Sherry Papini, kidnapping hoaxer. He even used the word hoax. This is from four months ago. Sherry Papini, hoax. Hoax. This whole thing is a puppet show to be able to make money inside Bethel's satanic system. I honestly believe that this girl that you're seeing in the pictures is probably not really married to the guy that they show inside the pictures because I've seen MK Ultra trauma-based mind control victims in the past in music industry stuff and I can see the type of way that she's interacting with people. It, I would think that she probably escaped from one of their sex houses and they probably went to put a leash on her and try and get her back. And the quickest way to do that was to put out enough information to get the public to rally behind it. But knowing that it was a hoax the whole time. Oh, now where's my dot at? There it is. much symbolism in here that connects Bethel to bad, bad stuff. inside the portal is supposed to be Sherry Papini inside this TV show. Actually, to prove that, Sherry Papini, when she got out from having um, been kidnapped, they had shaved her head. Stay the entire night at Happy Manor will get his inheritance. Uh, okay, um, hang on a second, hang on a second. Whoa. Uh, who's going to watch Piper while you're gone? You are. No, 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 I can't watch Piper tonight. Why not? Come on, 
was, I was supposed to go trick-or-treating with Charlotte and Jasper. Well, young man, you should have thought about that before Uncle Jimmy died. What? Oh, Piper sounds mad. You better go see what she wants. Bye! I'm sure it's not that. Oh my god, I have your hair! I tried to trim my hair just a little bit so I could be this Fresno girl doll for Halloween. That would have been a sweet stew. But after I trimmed it, I noticed that the right side was a little bit longer than the left side, so I trimmed the one off the right. But I trimmed too much. So then I tried to even it out on the left side, but I trimmed too much again, and it just kept happening. At least it's even. showing you guys the ley lines that's what this has to do with the videos in my channel that talk about ley lines that's this <laughs> this is the pattern and finally as you can see uh, the pattern uh, is yeah. notice the compass in the top right corner freemason logo clear <laughs> boom an X. 